Hi. We're gonna go see if Radio Shack and Radio Shack and Radio Shack still exists. He needs to get some hard drive bullshit. I don't know. So we're going there, and then uh, if they don't have shit, then we're going to Walmart regardless. Cause I gotta grab some stuff to pack in my bag for Florida tomorrow night. It's Thursday, but I leave like early in the morning Saturday. Apparently, I don't know. every time they text me, it's something different. If I'm here at a different time, I'll do this. About the other. What's the military for you? Hurry up and wait. So we're gonna knock this stuff out. Maybe we do a car meet later. I don't have any more parts to install this week. Tomorrow we're doing a photo shoot though. Why don't I get out of my meeting, my briefing? It's supposed to be pretty early in the morning. Um, always Friday night car meets. I don't know what else I'll do tomorrow. Hopefully something exciting before I leave. Well, that might be about. Got to Radio Shack. It's closed. We think we have one still in the mall, so we might go check that out, but I think we're just going to go to Walmart. I also remember I need to get screen protectors. I've been on my third one already. I broke two this weekend. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. No idea which one to get. That looks fancy. Look, it moves. I think. It's got a gap in it. This will last me a whole year. Perfect. Ten bucks. I used to have one just like it. System ready. Well, I was trying to vlog in Walmart, but my SD card keeps fucking up. But I went in there, got me a screen protector, and I found one that has glitter built into it. It says when the screen is on, it uh it disappears. So it was pretty cheap, and I figured fuck it, why not? It says it's 9H and all that. It comes with an applicator. If not, I bought an extra one to go with it, but with going to Florida and if I dr drop my phone or hit it on something, I at least want an extra one there, as I already Dude. cracked this one that I put on like two days ago. My phone slipped off my pants at the gym and uh, hit the machine. Cracked it in three places, barely even. I mean, it's like a half a foot drop and then boom, boom, boom. My luck. It's only a little windy out. Now we're at the mall. I opened up that uh, sparkle protector. It's not really that sparkle. I'm actually kind of excited to put it on and see how it looks behind the blank screen. Because with the, the film on it right now, you can't really see all that much. When you put it up to like a touch screen, like in this car, you couldn't see the sparkles at all, like it says. So, kind of excited. Well, another Radio Shack that's it's gone, I guess. They're gone forever here. And this guy's signing up to try and win a Harley. <laughs> It's really pretty blue though. Okay. Flash drive I am. Oh, that's cool. USB and then the lightning adapter. Nifty. One thing I really like about having an iPhone, like everyone tries to make shit for Apple. So you have like crazy amounts of accessories some of them are really stupid and some of them are really cool but really expensive. Having a Pixel or a Nexus, you'll be lucky if anyone even knows what it is. Oh, this mouse is super. Oh man. Scroll reel on the side and the top. Button, button. Button, button, button. Oh, I could have more buttons. This should be a button right here. It's not. So we're gonna attempt to put the screen protector on with minimal dust. This place is just full of dust, so it's kind of hard to do. I already opened it in the car to see how it looks, so. This may be open. There we go, it's that brand. It's your typical shit. Instructions. Alcohol and a pad, cleaning it. Wet dry, of course, already dropped this on the floor and got it dirty. So. Just to have these alignment tabs. Oh gosh, okay. So these are on the top, and I guess they just help you line it up. So we'll take off this old one, which is probably gonna result in breaking it.
Yep. Happens every time. There's another break. There we go. Let's see, I broke it in three places trying to get it off. I'm scared to even touch the screen. Get the wet one. Not very wet. Go Walmart. Can't really expect much out of this one, but it's pretty much a gimmick, but I figured I'd try it. So the dry wipe. Yeah. Alcohol pad definitely left a little bit of streak. And the glitter does look nice out that it's in the light. All oh, these bubbles. Well, there's a big one. How do you even get in there? I swear, every screen protector I get has a ring around it. I can't win. If anybody knows of a good iPhone 7 Plus, tempered glass that doesn't have a ring around the outside, that would be great. This is the fourth one. Let's see if you can even see this. It's definitely a... Uh, Super girly. <laughs> it looks cool with the screen off though. And you turn it on. You can see it a little bit. It looks cool up there with it on still. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Well, I messed that whole thing up. I had it on camera and not video. So anyway, on white, it's not all that great. It seems kind of fuzzy, but any other color, it's fine. That looks cool. Some headlights with Volkswagen etching. Shout out to Bill Nye though. This shit's funny as shit. Damn. Yeah, I just spent like 12 hours doing nothing almost. So it's a good relaxed day. Got to watch a bunch of old Casey and I sat and catch up on all my other vloggers and yeah, that's about it. That's all. Well. Didn't record all that much yesterday. I had a bunch of stuff that was boring I had to do and nothing really car related. But uh, here soon I'm gonna meet up with my boy LJ and his girlfriend and we're gonna wash cars and take pictures and I'm gonna bring my bike out and take pictures with car and bike stuff. So if I get them back before I post this vlog, I'll throw some here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go do that. I just spent the whole morning going through brief, uh, briefings and out processing and getting all this shit ready for Florida. So, exciting. Leaving out pretty early. This vlog is gonna be posted late too. So, well, at least I got one out for the day. I, won't, I will not, definitely not have a vlog for Monday. Um, Wednesday we'll be pushing it. So it might be a whole week till I post another one. Cause we're gonna be really busy doing stuff. But, I'm only going for 10 days, so when I get back, I got two car reviews lined up, and God knows what else. I'll be rolling into May, June. Uh, we got, what's it called? Desert Fest coming up. We got more track events. Autocross is about, actually starts next weekend, but I won't be here, of course. There's a bunch of stuff going on next weekend, I won't be here, I'm kind of upset, but. I'll have some extra money. Money equals car parts. Car parts equal happiness. So, be pretty lit. What's up, guys? I'm just gonna spread the car down real quick before we go for pictures. It's pretty, pretty nice out, but the sun's burning up real quick. So, I'm about to pull it back in the garage to dry it off. Picked the wrong time of the day, but oh well. Pretty decently cleaned here. 
nice and rinsed or pour inside and uh, dry raw. little behind the scenes doing a little photo shoot today before I leave for Florida it's a really good spot we got a couple more in mind too I like this we found a sweet building I'm just moving all the nails and shit out of the way oh we'll make it open oh no dang we just assumed this open oh okay all right, we're gonna try and move this bitch. I hope the whole thing is out. There she goes. Well, all right, all right. voice is so raspy today I'm trying to get through the door here we actually fit her in here how about that What's up? he just showed me a preview and holy shit god damn this shit's wild has all the best ideas. This place is fucking sweet. The photo shoot was freaking awesome. I have to show you guys the pictures as soon as possible. I went and grabbed some oil from Napa and I'm going to do an oil change here on base. They give us like lifts and, and all the tools you need to do pretty much anything there. It's a really small fee. I think it's like two bucks an hour and maybe three or four bucks to do an oil change to say the switch of the oil and the filter for you. So we're gonna go in there and do that. Maybe tighten up my exhaust clamps. I think they're rattling a little bit. Here we are. Went to shop. Some dude's got these real nice rotors. Check that out. It's on a truck. Not what it's called. Anyway, so we're about to lift it up and change it up. Show you how simple it is. All you gotta do is a flathead. Who's waiting for the key to unlock the? They give everyone their own little locker to use. So it's pretty sweet. Let this oil change out, go home, eat, and edit this video. Look! Oh god, that clearance is wild. Jesus. That is nothing. That one's way good. We got her up in the air here. You see my plastic oil pan and my Revo downpipe. And, uh, there's my my diff and stuff. And something back that here is rattling, and I can't figure out what it is. I didn't even know that was adjustable. Well, the valve way down in there, maybe a little bit. There you go. Now you can see the valve. Only the inside ones have it. The outside ones don't. Change these to better LEDs. All right, this is how you uh, pull the drink plug on Mark 7. Boom. It's literally all it is. 
little plastic doodad there with the seal. So here's putting it back in. Can almost get it to click with your fingers. That's it. She's locked. Now it's time to put some oil in. Get a good spot. That is on the money. We're good to go. You want to try it with the card? Yeah. I edited everything up till now, and about an hour and a half we got a car meet, so record a little bit of that, throw it at the end, and we'll call it a day. We're going to eat some leftover steak and catch up on some vlogs before. I don't get to watch any for a few days. Sierra has a small little car meet. Most people are out of town doing other shit, so it's a little too dark to record. I'm gonna go take one last uh, lap around town with the car before parking it for the next basically 11 days, so. I'm gonna go pick up a couple extra things to throw in my bag too, some snacks and whatnot from the gas station, so. We're gonna knock that out and uh, Maybe have a couple beers and get a decent nap. I'm gonna be up in like six hours. So. Vimeo. How about Bro, what the fuck are you doing? I'm recording these guys argue. About what? Arguing about Pangea over here. <laughs> Fish that all about Pangea. <laughs> We've been watching Little Dicky so a little I'm too much. Wrong. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna end it. I'll hopefully have something up by, by Wednesday next week. I'm, I'm really hoping there's shit for me to record Monday, Tuesday once we get to where we're going. I can't talk all that much about it, but once we get there, just, I don't know. I'll see y'all soon. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on a flip-flop.